We continue learning Dear Shu Mishnah Bura Allah Yaimi. We're holding in Simin Samach Bayes, continuously learning about the Allah of Krishna. Today we're going to finish the Simin with Sif Gimel and Sif Dalid and Sif Hay in Simin Samach Bayes once again. So we begin with Sif Gimel. Says the Mechaber. Sarich lahashmi alaznai. You have to hear Allah that we've pointed in passing. You have to hear with your ears ma shamaiti befit that which comes out of your mouth by Krishna. Vim lo yishmi alaznai yatsa. And if you don't, you are yatsi. Ubelvach yatsi bisvasav. As long as la maisa came out of your mouth. So continues in the Mishnah Bura and Sifkat and Dalit to explain. Sarich, you have to hear with your ears. That doesn't give us pause. I don't know what what the Rajba learns. How careful we have to be to try to make sure that we can hear with our ears when we say Krishna with our mouth. So too with the Birchas Krishna Klan Rishvav Sif Gimel Ubelvat Sif Katan Vav Avlam Here Beliba Liyatzah Said the Machaber But if you didn't Bidi Evid You're a Yaitzi If what As long as you said the words But if you just thought them in your heart The law Yaitzah The Kaimlan Here Alav Kedibar Dami Vayin Bevir Halacha There it is So we have to make sure to say the words Continues the Machaber and Sif Dalit Im if, excuse me, I read that wrong. If due to a sickness or due to a different oinus, you said the Kriyishma Beliba in your heart, of course, this would be the case of laryngitis, etc. As we'll see, that you can't actually say the words, which we'll talk about in a moment. You are Yaitse. Says the Rama. If it's a situation that dictates you can't say the words, you can even do this. Ooh, says the Ramo, what does this mean? This means you're in a place that's not clean. It's a filthy place and you can't clean it. So you can't say the words of Krishna. So you think them in your heart, you're out to As long as the place is not Filthy legamri. As long as it is not filthy legamri, as long as it is not completely disgusting. Because if it is such if it is such filth, then you're not allowed to even think about Taira in such a place. So says the Mishtabura Sifkot and Zayin in such a scenario, you say by thinking in your heart. Hi Yatz, Le Legamri Kamar. Says Mishtabura. It doesn't mean you're really Yatsi, not completely. Why not? Because like we just said a moment ago, the kaim alon here alive kadiver dummy. Ella ratzalaimar, you know what it means. I go bani b'shasha ino yoch ledaber yaharik kriyish ma beliboi. In a scenario that you cannot talk, then think it in your heart. Akadish baruch hu yikbol oyschacher averzeh and Hashem knows and Hashem will give you whatever war that you could get. I will beetsem ino yitzi kazes. Let me shabur over here a bit bechudash. Explaining that which we're learning that you're yites doesn't mean you're really yites. It means you have no other choice. So Hashem will, of course, consider whatever you did the best of your ability and give you schar. Al kain therefore kshay stalik oinis whatever the oinis leaves. And my dying lover is my kriish. I'm bechayiv lachsali kriish. You should say shema. So come and say vechayinim and I I in bebir alach. So let's take one moment. If we look at dirshu number eight over here, this was the case that we mentioned before. Ulachain and therefore. And this happens. Sometimes people have throat issues, voice issues, they have a surgery, and they're not even allowed to say one word. Can't let anything out of their mouth, not a whisper, not an anything. This is a fairly common occurrence, surgeries. The doctor says if you say one word, you could potentially lose your entire voice, the throat, the vocal cords, and need time to heal. So what do you do then? Says of Shlaima Zalman Arbach and Alicha Shlaima, she had her believer as Kola Tvila V. Krishma, you think the old feel in your heart. Kimacha in a Tsarach La Avid is Kodila Oilam, Kilheim is Krishma Tvila. You're not obligated to lose your voice forever in order to do this mitzvah. He says, Gam, Yishma Krishma, Meacher, ah, very good. Says of Shlaima Zalman, I'm sure many people are thinking this. If you have the ability to hear Krishma for someone else, yeah, but that a sefes became it, so you'll have a little bit better because then you can be yaitu with shaymeya ke oine. And of course, 
If you have time to say it afterwards, you could. And note number nine in the she says, what about Zechel Siyas B'Tayim, which the mitzvah is the entire day, even as man Kriyishma, you should still say it. So any time when one is able to say, get his voice back, he should continue by and say it's Kriyishma as much as possible. We learned all the way back in, I don't know what it was, one of the first simanim of Shulchan Aruch. This is going on the fact that the Ramah told us that when you can't talk, you can't say the words, you should think it in your heart. So says the Mishnah Baruch, quoting it, in the middle of the night, someone is very thirsty and he can't wash his hands and make a bracha. Yaharer a bracha beliboy v'yishtay. should think the bracha on his heart and drink. Example perhaps would be a woman who's nursing, she needs a drink, but she's going to wake up the baby if she moves or she herself is unwell right after birth and she can't wash her hands. Think the bracha and drink. Sefer Matthew the chalik love the kasev. Sefer Matthew the disagrees. Tari Avshel la amar li tiyadu. You could get up and wash your hands. Vein darim la chalik la ain is not the same case. Ain donim avshel mishi avshel. We don't compare cases from possible to impossible. Vafilu mein la mai al natila. Even if you don't have water to wash your hands, vashtia vashtia. Oh, you shekosh la amar mei akar is too cold. And this is the Pesach that we said back then from the Eli Rav and the Prima Gadim. You can't get up. Either it's too freezing, you're not feeling well, you're going to wake up the baby, whatever the situation is. A situation that deems that you can't get out of bed and you need a drink. So what could you do? So the Taz will tell you, think the bracha in your heart, the shackle and drink because you can't say the words, you don't wash your hand, mouth. You don't wash your hands, excuse me. Says Mr. Baruch from the El Yeram, the Prima Gaudim, no. You know what you should do? You should wipe your hands on the wall. Anything that cleans them. I feel like you should have a that you know that you should not be a good one. Even if you know for sure that your hands touch an unclean area, which of course is going to be a common scenario. We're talking about nursing a baby, talking about a woman at night or a similar scenario, that you know for sure your hands are unclean, you could wipe them down. Which we learned a few months ago, and that is a psak Allah when one needs, what does he do? He wipes his hands down and then he makes the bracha and takes the drink. Let's look for a moment at Dirshu note number 11 and says the Dirshu that we learned over there. Says, if you're going to the you can wipe your hands on the wall or anything that cleans them. You're sleeping undressed. If you're sleeping undressed, then seemingly your hands are dirty because you touch yourself in the middle of the night. And you need to get rid of the Ruach Raz. We need water, but not for the unclean areas. That's a Zoyar. So this certainly is a milo, of course, but in a scenario of need, there would be room to be lenient just to wipe your hands down. We continue with the Mishnah Burah, Sif Katan Tess, says the Mishnah Burah, Shalagi Hei, Ve'eim HaMakam, this is talking about a place that was unclean and therefore you can't make a bracha. Ve'eim HaMakam, Aho Metunaf, and if that place, excuse me, if that place was Metunaf Ligamri, Completely filthy. You can't even think the Nusach Kriyashma and the Bracha. Varak, Yachshab Aliba, you should think in your heart that you're obligated of any Yachalakayim Yitzharals, then you should be pained on this. The fact that you can't be Makayim the Mitzvah. Shem Yer Lalev, and Hashem will see your heart. Titan Lazchar, Machshava, Kiva, and Shahu, Oynes. Venir Abashat. The Hashayim of Isamar, Hashlok, and then Isin, who someone drinks in the bath house, it's inappropriate. There you can't even be mahirer, different itaira. People walking around undressed. There's the steam and the filth of the bathhouse. Therefore, you can't even think different itaira. So you can't make a bracha. And that's not an oinus. And therefore, you should walk outside and take a drink. But of course, the issue is the bracha. If one were to make the bracha before, he would not have a problem. And we conclude today's share with Sif A, in which the Machaber teaches us, Bishma Yisrael, the Sheikh Sibah should make his voice be heard when he says that first Pasik. Kedei Shishma Akov Yam Nichu Shem Shamayim Biyachad, so everyone could hear, and everyone in unison, the entire Tzibur, could be Mamlech HaKadosh Baruch Hu, accept upon themselves the yoke of heaven at once. We'll pick it up from Simon Samuel Kimmel in the next year, Bisiyato Dishmayo.